thank you very much for coming out. We are very, very pleased to be here today that Virginia Tech will be actually the host to what arguably is the largest gathering of black intellectuals since Margaret Walker had the 200th anniversary of uh, Phyllis Wheatley. I've known Toni Morrison for, I know, 40 years. She's been here before for us, uh, almost 20 years ago now when I first came. Tony's son, Slade, died. And as a mother of a son, though one doesn't have to be a mother, let alone a mother of a son, to recognize the sadness. I thought that the writing community should wrap our arms around Tony. I just thought we should do something. And I thought, well, okay, if what you want is to let her know she is loved, then the next thing we would need is Maya. One of the joys of being my age is that we still have the privilege of being in, in, in your company, being in Tony's company. We're getting ready to celebrate Tony Morrison. We have the grand dame of poetry, and we're gonna have the grand dame of fiction on the same stage okay. together. And the noonday of poetry, arranging it, my <laughs> land. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But have you and Dr. Morrison been on stage together before? Or? Well, there's a, a, a festival, the Welsh, uh, the Hay on Wye Festival, and we, we hung together, oh, two yeah. lady friends and sister friends. And then when she earned the Nobel, I gave a party for her here. The United States should have done it. That's right. Time Magazine should have put it on the cover. You too. know what, too? Yeah. That's a yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. People live in direct relation to the heroes and sheroes they have, mm -hmm. always and in all ways. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons I, I take my hat and do a salam to Nikki Giovanni is she came up with the idea of honoring Toni Morrison. Yes. It's just right. It is. It's yeah. just right. I tend to be partial, uh, actually, to Virginia Tech because I think that we are a growing institution. I'm, I'm just a dreamer, and I'm just always thinking of how do we bring things together that haven't happened. We are here in the arms of Appalachia, so we are in an incredible, uh, in, in terms of creativity, position, but we also are international. So we are reaching out, but the arts are key, and I so appreciate people just saying to people like me, well, dream, do it, think it up. We have the unique honor of having Toni Morrison, who is only the second American woman to have won a Nobel. This is about love. This is a volunteer effort on the part of everybody who's coming. We're here because we're interested, and it delights us to be a part of this event. So I wanted to open uh, this floor to questions or comments or... The title of tomorrow's event, Sheer Good Fortune. Where is that? That's in Sula. It's in Sula. It's the dedication. Sula. Yeah. I uh, wrote The Bluest Eye and over a long period of time. I started in Washington, I put it down. But I found that after I finished The Bluest Eye, I was really sort of miserable. Nothing particularly miserable was going on, but I just thought, oh, God. The world looked incoherent and sort of stupid. And uh, anyway, so then I got this other idea. The white feminists were talking about, oh, women have to be friends with each other. We cannot be competitive. And I was thinking, wait a minute, black women have always been friends. I mean, if you didn't have each other, you would have had nothing. You know what I mean? That's right. So I thought about that, and I thought about friendship that would be tested. And so I wrote, it's sheer good fortune. If you miss, you know, sort of long for things before they leave you. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, it's been fun. Thank you. If I had just tried to do something, it, it, it would have been insufficient. It would have been with love, but I wanted the writing community to speak up. I wanted the political community. I wanted us to come together. There ought to be something that lets us come together in love, that lets us just lift each other up, that has no other agenda. We just reached out to about 30 people here to say we would like for you to come. We, we want you to be a part of this. I'm a writer, and writers do things alone. It's our inclination. 
the only thing that I do together is I play bid whist. Well, there's only one rule in bid whist, trust your partner. It's another reason that I enjoy sheer good fortune. When you do things like this, you end up with partners. And we have, which I am thrilled about, we have a group of youngsters coming from the Bronx and they will be introducing Dr. Maya Angelou. I'm so excited to be able to show Virginia Tech to a bunch of youngsters from the Bronx. They, they need to know we're here and they need to know that we have a welcoming campus. What we're gonna do, let's go off stage and Michael is gonna lead us on. Johnny, will you help? Because you're the only two actors I have. And I want everybody to relax. We have two voices going. They're making love. Some of us, of course, haven't, but those who have, you remember, and it was fun, and you were saying, you know, oh, baby, baby, you know, but she's not saying, oh, baby, baby, she's saying Porter. And that's with a T, Porter. Is this for me, she asked. Is this for me, she asked. Yes, he said. And as their cue, please welcome to the state some special young men all the way from the Bronx, New York. Things for the ones in sky. Another jump, now to the left. Everybody for himself. You, as the first reader in the group, will be introduced by a voiceover that will say, we begin with former poet laureate and Pulitzer Prize winning poet, Rita Dove. You will come downstage and we can walk up there if you all want to. In the air, now both be down. Since you black, don't stick around. Instead of roses. Instead of roses. And silk underwear. And silk underwear. And bottles of perfume. And bottles of perfume. The image that we have for the show is this notion that we start with this empty stage and by the end when Tony is out there you're all surrounding her. Oh yes. Oh, yes. This. 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 This is for you. for the ones that's got. Both feet flat, the game is done. They think I lost, I think I won. Both feet flat, the game is done. They think I lost, I know I won. I was back there waiting for them to, to introduce some big muckety muck. I was, I didn't know it was me. And here I am out here to see you. And goodness, what a blessing. And those children, what about that? Thank you. Thank you. I am grateful. And what a night it is for me to be here with my sister friend, Toni Morrison. This is what this woman has done through 10 books. Loving, respecting, appreciating, the African-American woman, and all that she goes through. Whether it's in Beloved, the bluest eye, whatever it is. So I, I love the fact that I'm here tonight to be here to respect. I show my respect and my delight, my love for Toni Morrison. I thank you, my dear. That is so amazing. I can't believe I'm doing this. I read The Bluest Eye at 19. I never read anything that made me feel like that, like it, as we all know, Toni Morrison's writing has that rhythm. And so I was done reading it and I still felt the, the thing inside. And this song came out. This is called Not Afraid of the Dark. 
Oh, how we love you, Miss Morrison. From Tar Baby. Hurry, hurry, she urged him. They are waiting. Waiting? Who's waiting? Suddenly he was alarmed. The men, the men are waiting for you. Show me the way and I'll follow. No matter how far, deep, dark, or hollow. Cause when I'm with you, I'm not afraid of the dark. Somewhere inside you is that free person I'm talking this about. Is a place Locate her and let her do some good in the world. But the Never mind, you lose your name. Never mind, your dad is dead. Love is not a gift, it's a diploma. How do you know you've graduated? You don't. What you do know is that you are human and therefore capable of learning how to love. The purpose of evil was to survive it and they determined without ever knowing they'd made up their minds to do so to survive floods, white people, tuberculosis, famine, and ignorance. You are my sister, you are my daughter, you are my face, you are me. I have found you again. I'm not afraid of the dark. These particular brown girls from Mobile and Aked are not like some of their sisters. They're not fretful, nervous, or shrill. They do not have lovely black decks that stretch as though against an invisible collar. Their eyes do not bite. These sugar brown mobile girls move through the streets without a stir. Yet there was this heavy spice sweet smell that made you think of the east and striped tents and the sha 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 of lake bracelets. Musicians understood as early as anyone that Truman's bomb changed everything and only scat and bebop could say how. Instead of chocolate creams, instead of chocolate creams, in a heart-shaped box, in a heart-shaped box, instead of a big house, instead of a big house, and a great big car, and a great big car, instead of long trips, instead of long trips, quarter, quarter, in a clean white boat, in a clean white boat. Instead of picnics, instead of picnics, no, and fishing, and fishing, no, and being all together on a porch, and being all together on a porch, no. This is for you, girl. Oh, this yes. is for you, girl. Oh yes. Oh yes. This. 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 This is for you. I really think this is, yeah, I think it is the first time I've been rendered speechless. <laughs> and I, you know, sit here listening to different voices, read words that I wrote, 
many years ago, or even recently, giving them the meaning, even a new meaning, and a new sound. I cannot tell you how delightful that is, <laughs> to have one's words move like that through another intelligence, through another creative spirit, through another tongue, and to hear it come back to you in different colors. You know, but still, you are the so-called author of it, but it no longer belongs to you. And that's the magic, <laughs> and that's the beauty. <laughs> My favorite human beings, from Edwidge to Sonia to Maya to, <sighs> no list. Okay, all my lovers, all my friends, all my writer friends, thank you, and you, thank you.